This is the evolution of the iPhone. On January 9th, 2007, Steve Jobs introduced the very first iPhone at Macworld in San Francisco. The device combined a phone, an iPod, and internet access into one single product. It had an aluminum design with a black back, a 3.5-inch multi-touch display, a 2-megapixel camera, and 4, 8, or 16 gigabytes of storage, powered by a 1,400mAh battery. It was available exclusively through AT&T in the United States at a starting price of 499 US dollars, and it sold over 6 million units. The following year, Apple released the iPhone 3G. The design shifted from aluminum to black or white polycarbonate, and the body became slightly thicker. The big novelty was 3G connectivity and the introduction of assisted GPS, as well as the App Store. The starting price was 199 US dollars with a contract, and in the first weekend alone, more than 1 million units were sold, making it the best-selling phone in the United States by the end of the year. Launched in 2009, the iPhone 3GS kept the same design as the previous model, but brought major performance improvements. The S stood for speed, being twice as fast as the iPhone 3G. It came with a 3 megapixel camera with autofocus and 30 frames per second video recording, plus a digital compass and voice control. Storage capacity went up to 32 gigabytes, and RAM was doubled to 256 megabytes. Just like the 3G, it sold over 1 million units in the first weekend. Want more videos like this? Then hit the new hype button and help us grow this community. It's free, and it helps us a lot. Thank you. In 2010, the iPhone 4 marked the first major design leap. A stainless steel frame and glass back, promoted as the thinnest smartphone in the world. That same year, Apple introduced for the first time its own processor, the A4 chip, and the revolutionary Retina display, four times sharper than previous generations. It was also the first iPhone with dual cameras, a 5-megapixel main camera with LED flash and a VGA front-facing camera. The phone included 512 megabytes of RAM and up to 32 gigabytes of storage. The launch wasn't without controversy. The signal issue, nicknamed AntennaGate, drew criticism. Nevertheless, the iPhone 4 was a massive commercial success, with 1 million units sold in the first weekend and a debut on Verizon's network, ending AT&T exclusivity. On October 4, 2011, Apple introduced the iPhone 4S. It was the first iPhone launched under Tim Cook's leadership, just one day before Steve Jobs, the visionary who changed the world of technology, passed away. The phone kept the design of the iPhone 4 but brought major internal improvements. The main novelty was Siri, the intelligent voice assistant, along with the new dual-core A5 chip that offered double the performance compared to the previous generation. The main camera was upgraded to 8 megapixels with 1080p video recording, and storage went up to 64 gigabytes. The iPhone 4S was a massive success, with around 60 million units sold. In 2012, Apple announced the iPhone 5, the first model with a larger 4-inch display. The phone also introduced 4G LTE connectivity and the new lightning port, replacing the old 30-pin connector. The design was thinner and lighter, built from aluminum, and Apple also introduced the Nano SIM, the smallest SIM standard at the time. Inside, the iPhone 5 was powered by the dual-core A6 chip at 1.3 GHz and 1 GB of RAM, offering significantly better performance than the previous model. Sales confirmed the success. 5 million units sold in the first weekend. The following year, Apple for the first time launched two phones simultaneously, the iPhone 5s and the iPhone 5c. The iPhone 5s became the world's first smartphone with a 64-bit processor, the Apple A7. It also came with Touch ID integrated into the home button, slow motion video, a dual LED flash, and a motion co-processor. The iPhone 5C was a more affordable version with specifications similar to the iPhone 5, but featuring a polycarbonate shell available in bright colors. In total, both models sold over 9 million units in the first weekend. In 2014, after years of waiting, Apple finally introduced an iPhone with a larger screen. In fact, there were two, the iPhone 6 with a 4.7-inch display and the iPhone 6 Plus with a 5.5-inch display. 
Both featured new A8 processors, faster and more efficient, improved cameras, and for the first time, a 128GB storage option. Other important innovations included Apple Pay and optical image stabilization, the latter available only on the 6 Plus. The launch was a massive success with 10 million units sold in the first weekend, though it was overshadowed by the Bendgate controversy, which referred to the iPhone 6 Plus bending too easily under normal use. The next models, the iPhone 6s and 6s Plus, retained the design of the previous generation but brought important internal upgrades and improved durability. Inside, the iPhone 6s was powered by the A9 processor and 2GB of RAM, while the main camera jumped from 8 to 12 megapixels with support for 4K video recording. The key novelty was 3D Touch, a technology that recognized the pressure applied to the screen and offered quick shortcuts in apps. Live Photos was also a well-received addition, as well as the Hey Siri hands-free function. The launch was another major success, with 13 million units sold in the first weekend. In 2016, Apple introduced the first truly affordable iPhone at a price of 400 US dollars. The iPhone SE had the same design as the iPhone 5S, but the internals of the iPhone 6s minus Touch ID. In short, it was a smaller phone with flagship specifications. Also, in 2016, Apple unveiled the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, the first models resistant to water and dust, IP67 and powered by the new quad-core A10 Fusion chip, much more powerful and efficient. The camera received major improvements. The iPhone 7 added optical image stabilization, while the iPhone 7 Plus came with a dual camera system, featuring a two times telephoto lens and portrait mode. The most controversial decision was the removal of the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, a move that paved the way for AirPods. On September 12, 2017, during the first event hosted at the Steve Jobs Theater, Apple introduced three new models, the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and the iPhone 10. The iPhone 8 and 8 Plus kept the familiar design but switched to a glass back to enable wireless charging, alongside the new A11 Bionic chip, called by Apple the most powerful and smartest chip ever in a smartphone. Each model featured an improved 12-megapixel camera with a larger sensor. But the star of the event was the iPhone 10 launched to celebrate 10 years of the iPhone. It introduced, for the first time, a bezel-less 5.8-inch OLED Super Retina display with stainless steel edges, and replaced Touch ID with Face ID through a 3D facial recognition system built into the notch. Navigation was now done through gestures after the removal of the home button. At a starting price of 999 US dollars, the iPhone 10 became the most expensive iPhone up to that point, but also one of the most influential models in the series' history. On September 12, 2018, Apple introduced three new models, the iPhone XS, XS Max, and iPhone XR. The iPhone XS and XS Max continued the premium line introduced by the iPhone X with 5.8-inch and 6.5-inch Super Retina OLED displays, 4GB of RAM, and a dual-camera system with a 12-megapixel main sensor. The iPhone XR was the more affordable option, with a 6.1-inch Liquid Retina LCD display, the same 12-megapixel main camera, and the same A12 processor. Available in a variety of bright colors, it proved to be extremely popular and became the best-selling iPhone of the series. In 2019, Apple once again launched three new iPhones, the iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, and iPhone 11 Pro Max. All models gained a 12-megapixel ultra-wide lens, while the Pro versions added, for the first time, a triple camera system and the new night mode, which allowed sharp photos in low-light conditions. The iPhone 11 kept its 6.1-inch Liquid Retina LCD screen, came with the A13 Bionic processor, a dual camera setup, and a 12-megapixel front camera. Thanks to its reduced price of $699 US dollars, $50 less than the XR, it became the most popular model. The iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max featured Super Retina XDR OLED displays of 5.8 and 6.5 inches, the A13 Bionic chip, and much larger batteries, in 2020, Apple brought back the iPhone SE. It kept the design of the iPhone 8 with a 4.7-inch display and a home button with Touch ID, but inside it housed the powerful A13 Bionic chip from the iPhone 11 series. The phone offered IP67 water resistance, a single 12-megapixel main camera capable of 4K video recording, and a starting price of just $399, US making it very attractive. However, the small 1,400 mAh battery was the main criticism. 
Also in 2020, Apple for the first time unveiled four models in the same generation, the iPhone 12, 12 mini, 12 Pro, and 12 Pro Max. All featured Super Retina XDR OLED displays, a new flat edge design, ceramic shield front glass, much more resistant to drops, and 5G connectivity. Apple also introduced the MagSafe system, enabling magnetic wireless charging and dedicated accessories. This generation also marked the removal of the charger from the box. The iPhone 12 had a 6.1-inch screen, the Apple A14 Bionic processor, 4GB of RAM, and a 2815MA battery. The Pro and Pro Max models offered 6.1-inch and 6.7-inch displays, more RAM, triple camera systems, and a LiDAR sensor for augmented reality and faster focus. The iPhone 12 mini was the first compact iPhone, delivering iPhone 12 performance in a smaller package with a 5.4-inch display. In 2021, Apple presented the iPhone 13 series, keeping the design of the previous generation but with important upgrades. The iPhone 13 featured a 6.1-inch display, the A15 Bionic processor, and a dual-camera system of 12 megapixels, delivering high performance and significantly improved battery life compared to the previous generation. Alongside it, the iPhone 13 mini represented the more compact option, yet still carried flagship-level specifications. The iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 13 Pro Max introduced for the first time ProMotion technology with an adaptive refresh rate of 120Hz on their Super Retina XDR displays of 6.1 inches and 6.7 inches, respectively. Both models received a triple camera system with a LiDAR sensor and a telephoto lens offering 3 times optical zoom. The following year, Apple launched the third generation iPhone SE keeping the classic iPhone 8 design a look already considered outdated at the time. Inside, however, the phone received important upgrades, the A15 Bionic chip, a slightly larger battery, and support for 5G connectivity. The single 12-megapixel main camera remained, but with improved image processing. Apple released the iPhone 14 lineup in 2022, marking the end of the mini model and introducing the new iPhone 14 Plus. The iPhone 14 and 14 Plus mostly kept the design and A15 Bionic chip from the previous series, with 6GB of RAM and larger batteries. They introduced safety features such as satellite SOS and crash detection. The major changes came with the Pro models. The iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max introduced always-on display and the dynamic island, replacing the traditional notch. They also came with the new A16 Bionic chip and a triple camera system with a 48-megapixel main sensor capable of cinematic video in 4K at 24 or 30 frames per second. In 2023, Apple launched the iPhone 15 series marking an important shift. All models switched to USB-C, replacing Lightning after 11 years of use. The iPhone 15 and 15 Plus finally received the Dynamic Island a 48-megapixel main sensor with 2 times zoom via crop and the A16 Bionic chip. The iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max came with major upgrades, titanium frames and thinner bezels. The Pro models also replaced the classic mute switch with a customizable action button. Inside, they were powered by the new A17 Pro processor and 8GB of RAM. For 2024, Apple unveiled the iPhone 16 lineup, introducing a refreshed design. The most talked about feature was the new dedicated camera control button, offering quick access to camera functions. The iPhone 16 and 16 Plus introduced vertically aligned cameras with new fusion and ultra-wide sensors, faster processors, and larger batteries. The iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max grew in size to 6.3 inches and 6.9 inches, featuring the largest batteries yet and a new 48-megapixel ultra-wide camera. The Pro also adopted the 5 times telephoto lens from the Pro Max, narrowing the gap between the two models. In 2025, Apple changed its traditional strategy for affordable SE models by launching the new iPhone 16e, starting at $599. US the phone adopted the standard form factor of the series, with a 6.1-inch OLED display, a 48-megapixel main camera, the A18 chip, 8GB of RAM, and full support for Apple intelligence. Apple introduced the new iPhone 17 lineup, which includes the iPhone 17, iPhone 17 Pro, and iPhone 17 Pro Max, but also a completely new variant, called iPhone Air. 
The iPhone 17 brings a major leap compared to the previous generation, with a new Super Retina XDR display of 6.3 inches, 120Hz refresh rate, and Ceramic Shield 2 protection, now tougher and with reduced reflections. It is powered by the new A19 chip and comes with a dual camera system of 48 megapixels, one main and one ultra wide, complemented by an 18 megapixel front camera with center stage. The iPhone 17 Pro and iPhone 17 Pro Max arrive with a redesigned back, a heat treated aluminum finish, and a vapor chamber cooling system. They feature large Super Retina XDR displays with ProMotion, but the headline upgrade is the triple camera system of 48 megapixels. The telephoto camera now also reaches 48 megapixels, offering up to 8 times optical zoom. The cameras add advanced functions like ProRes RAW for professional video recording and GenLock for multi-camera synchronization. The iPhone Air is the thinnest iPhone ever created, at just 5.6mm thick with a 6.5-inch OLED display and the A19 Pro processor. Built for portability, it eliminates the physical SIM slot and multiple cameras, keeping only a single 48-megapixel sensor, but still delivers cutting-edge connectivity and up to 40 hours of video playback. From the very first iPhone in 2007 to the iPhone 17 series in 2025, Apple has completely reshaped the modern smartphone. Every generation has brought innovation, yet the iPhone has always remained a defining benchmark of the industry. With these new models, Apple shows that the story of evolution is far from over. If you enjoyed this kind of video, make sure to subscribe to our channel, and if you give us a like and leave a comment, it really helps us out. Thank you.